Hello, my name is Greg Gumkowski, and I am a product marketing engineer at ST Microelectronics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the STM32 microcontroller motor control tools to quickly get your motor spinning. In order to get started, we will need both software and hardware. For the software, we will use the STM32 Permanent Magnet Synchronous Motor Field Oriented Control Software Development Kit. And for the hardware, we will use the STM32 Nucleo Pack. This includes the STM32 F302 Nucleo Control Board, the L6230 X Nucleo Based Power Board, and a three phase permanent magnet motor. The software development kit can be downloaded from the ST website and once installed will include both the ST Motor Control Workbench and the ST Motor Profiler. The P-Nucleo hardware kit setup is shown here with the blue power board stacked onto the white control board. The control board is connected to a PC by a standard USB cable and the power board is connected to both the three-phase motor as well as to a 12-volt DC power supply. Okay, now we are ready to get started spinning the motor. We will first open the Motor Profiler application. The first step is to select the boards. There are numerous combinations shown here. We will select the board set that comes with our P-Nucleo kit. Next, we just need to enter some basic motor parameters. The first parameter is the number of pole pairs, which is 7 for our motor. If you don't know this parameter, there is a link to a manual method to figure out the number of pole pairs of your motor. Next is the maximum rated speed. maximum rated current, and finally the bus voltage. Now we can connect our application to the boards. Once connected, we can start the profiling. First there will be some electrical characterizations performed. And then finally, the mechanical characterization will take place. The profiler has successfully completed. Now it's time to interact with our motor through the play mode. From here, we can set a target speed and have it start. Once we've reached the speed, we can increase it. We can decrease it. And we can also even reverse it. Once we are finished interacting with our motor, we can stop and exit the application. Now that we have the motor characterized and spinning, more advanced development can be performed using the Motor Control Workbench application. Under the Documentation tab, you will find an SDK hands-on presentation. This presentation can get you started, but you'll have to take that as a homework assignment as our time is up for now.